Hey guys, how's it going? Arclad84 here. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Owning Link Begins Legend of Zelda Fan Game. I have with me a guest today that's a big Zelda fanatic, and uh, I thought I'd also let her on today since it has been her birthday previously. Say hi. Hello, guys. <laughs> Why don't you introduce yourself? Okay. Um, I'm Tara Oswald. I'm also known as Kisame777 on YouTube, but with the copyrights that's been going around lately, I might not be on there anymore if I screw up, so come check me out sometime! Yeah, she does uh, a lot of fan dubs and some other cool stuff. So anyways, um, previously we managed to... Okay, here's to give you a quick recap, mm -hmm. recap uh, Tara. Okay. We've got all the grails... So Link no longer has the curse within him, but now he's roaming free amongst the world, so we got to find different tools to in order to finally stop him. First of all, the sword needed to be upgraded, which we had to find three hidden temples for that, which is now up to level 5. Uh, we had to get the Ocarina of Time right here, which lets uh, teaches us the Song of Spirit, which is another song we need to combat against Oni Link. And finally, we need a mask to seal this evil away in. Hmm, so, interesting. Now that we have all that we need, we are ready to take on Oni Link. So now we need to find a way inside the next dungeon that is, I believe it's called Zanto Temple, which, in my opinion, is the most ridiculous dungeon yet I've had to go through. Well, I will be brutally honest. When you said about the sword going, up to, going to level 5, and then when you moved on to the temple, being the most ridiculous temple, I'm a, I think I'm going to get kicked out of the fandom for this, but it made me think of Final Fantasy. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yep, I'm going to get kicked out of the fandom. I should probably show you some uh, before, some of the gravestones over there um, actually tells you about who actually made the game as far as who illustrated it, who... Um, Help put the put all the schematics together. Who did the art and music and such, which I think is kind of neat. Mm, Might show that later on. But anyways, here we are at the Zanto Temple. Dead men tell no tales. Who oh, knows? So here we go, level thirteen. And by the way, these ghosts here, mm -hmm. without the Master Sword, forget trying to kill them. There's just <laughs> no way that's gonna happen. So here we are. We got a f we found a small key already. Now, mm -hmm. if you know your Zelda well enough, what's the first thing and most important that you always do when you first set foot into an unknown dungeon? Look for the look for the nearest lock so you can actually get your key to. Besides That's what that, I do. Besides that, what else is very important about dungeons in general in order to help you get around? The map. The map exactly. Normally that would be the case, and it would not be that difficult to find, but, you know, since it's level 13 now, I guess the guy that made this, dun put this gun dungeon together and say, you know what, I think the player has been relying a little bit too much on the map, so this time we're gonna make it a bitch to find! Oh no! Yes! The map is actually a lot harder this time to find, so you got to rely on pure instinct and actually pay a lot of attention as to where you go, because this dungeon's pretty big, even though it's, like, mostly one floor. So, yeah. I'm just gonna guess this is, like, the Zora's Temple times 1,000. <laughs> Might as well be, because there's also a point where if you notice that portal that we passed by earlier on, mm -hmm. we'll eventually come back to that, because this is the one that has the really confusing random maze that you have to navigate through. I had to actually use a guide from a YouTube video in order to slightly figure out how to advance. Wow, I bet you really wanted to push the person down the flight of steps who ever made that temple, huh? Much as I'd like to, I can't because at the same time, it's pure genius with what effort this guy put into making this game. I can't help but but love it. Oh yeah, <laughs> I mean it looks really impressive what I've seen so far. Even though some of the tools may not work exactly the same as Link, it were the Link to the Past, uh, both good aspects and bad. But mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, I mean 
interesting choices of bosses that they put in, even though some of them may have come from a different RPG, in this case, <clears throat> Secret of Mana. Uh, <laughs> so, but at any rate, we've come this far. This can't be that too terribly bad. We're just finding keys everywhere. Oh, that reminds me. One previous dungeon I actually had to go through, which you might need to go back and check later on, Tara, is there was a dungeon that was pretty much in the form of a coliseum. What, really? Yep. Each room you had a different set of monsters to, to fight off. And, oh god, wall masters. Oh god. Get away from the It's sending you back to the beginning. And guess what? Hmm. You can't kill them. You can't? Nope. They, what? They do not die in this game. They're oh no! That sucks! <laughs> that seriously sucks! Yes, it does. However, there has been a couple of, uh, a couple of, um, uh, instances where, um, wall masters do actually lead you to a hidden secret or two in some dungeons. Mm hmm Never seen that done before in a, in a canon Zelda game. Oh yeah, these wizards, also a pain. They only die by deflecting their beams back at them. So. It's like, it's, it kind of makes me think of like what you have to do for the, uh, like, in the final battle with Ganondorf, where you have to actually hit the beam back and forth so you can actually get to him. Yeah. That's what it kind of makes me think of. And now we're stuck. Oh no. Oh no, he, <laughs> hurry, find a way out. We actually had to do that, that we didn't have a choice. That sucks. By the way, let me show you let me show you this portal real fast. Okay. Okay, you got a stairway that goes down to the bottom floor, right? Mm-hmm. Look at this. Endless doors on all oh. four sides. <laughs> In Shit. Into the wrong one. And you go back to the beginning. Oh, that sucks! Yep. <laughs> And it's bad enough that we can't, we're not even allowed a map to try to navigate through this. Really? Even 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 then, it's 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 a pain in the ass. Oh. But once we find the map, we'll figure out a way. Well, once you find the map, the better, I say. I think it'd be kind of. I don't. Let's see. I don't fully remember the dungeon that well since I've only completed it once, but I think the map is, like, the very last thing you would find before anything else. <laughs> well, if you, find the, if you find the map the last thing in the dungeon, and you already went through the rooms, then what, what point does it have of using the using the map for? Because, while normally in Link to the Past, it, it highlights the map as you go along, in this game, it doesn't. That's that's joy. That's blissful. <laughs> that's blissful joy. Yeah, we're pretty much just running through blind at this point. I'm just skipping these guys. <laughs> like screw you! Like screw you! Fuck your couches! I'm leaving. So my question is, um, like for Link, he looks so he looks a little bit different than normal. Really? Yeah, he kind of does. How so? Um. Like, when I take a look at him, like, in his pi in his pixel art with, like, Link, as I see right now, he looks a little bit different from Link's to the past. His ears look a little bit more pointier than the last game. I don't know if that's just me being tripping or something, but it just looks a little bit different. Hmm. Well, maybe. Uh, suppose it's supposed to be the same sprite that was used from Link to the Past overall. So, uh. there might have been a couple of touch-ups here and there, perhaps. Yeah, because I can tell the difference in his hair and his tunic are a lot brighter and stuff. Well, we do have the blue mail that we got in the previous dungeon, and supposedly, I think we should be coming across the next level uh, mail soon. Hmm. I think it might be in this dungeon, but I'm not 100% sure. Only one way to find out. Yes, indeed. So, have you played through this game before, or n or no? I've played through this all the way once. Ah. One time. You know what happens. 
I know what happens, I just don't remember every single detail to go through this dungeon. Hmm. So, how long has it been since you last played the game, or if you don't mind me asking? Uh, before I started LPing this, I think it's been about maybe a month, maybe two months. Ah. Uh, because, recently, I was playing, um, Skyward, not Skyward Sword, a derp, I mean, um, the, <laughs> sorry folks, I mean the, um, 3D, 3DS version of Orcarina at Time, and I haven't played it in a long time because, well, I've been distracted by life. So, I'm on Master Quest, and I was in Jabu Jabu's belly, and I started having, like, freaking out. It's like, what's with this dungeon? There's cows on the freaking ceiling! Eh? Yeah, exactly! There's cows on the ceiling! Um, okay. And I guess the next thing you're going to tell me, there are cuckoos crawling on the side of the walls. No, no cuckoos. <laughs> No, Kohiro! <laughs> no, 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 Kohiro! Kohiro is not here! You can put your CDs, Kohiro! <laughs> <laughs> if you guys don't know what that is, folks, uh, there's a YouTuber who did a Let's Play of um, Orkery and Time, well, for the 64 version anyway, and he, had, and he went through the Ko Kokokiri Village? Is this right? Kok Kokiri Village, yeah. Kokiri Village, I think that's right. And yeah, there's turned this cuckoo to this lady. It's like, oh, he bought you cuckoo. It looks really happy. And so and so. It's like, I'm going to give you a big cuckoo as a return. And he's your brother's cuckoo. His blue body is quite charming, isn't it? It's like, so and so. And all of a sudden, you get this bird. And all of a sudden, it's like, go hero. <laughs> go hero. It's go hero. It's the Mexican of the game. It's go hero. It needs to be a meme. It needs to be out and needs to be known. <laughs> Because that should be the mascot of the mascot of the internet. Oh God. <laughs> what? Okay. Oh wow! I can't believe I passed this room up. Hmm. We get oh. our next key. I'm also trying to watch my hearts, even though I've got two life, two uh, life medicine and a bottle of magic. Still, I'm gonna need all the help I can get. Better than safe than sorry, I always say. Better oh yes. And also, okay. another interesting thing about this, uh, what's also really important is the fact that with the map, you'll be able to tell whether or not it may look like you can bomb certain walls. Hmm. Otherwise, if you're meant to find a, a hidden passageway, you're just pretty much aiming around the dark at this point. Ah. Uh -huh. Though, I will say one thing I got a challenge for you. What? Try playing this game with a three heart challenge. I dare you. Oh, God, no. <laughs> oh, God, no. Actually, there there are certain challenges that the that the guy had does put in this game. Like, there's, really? a, there's a speed challenge, there's a 100% complete challenge, and then there's the ultimate challenge, which you have to meet certain requirements. And one of them does say you can't get more than certain heart containers, you can't get more than certain uh, armor upgrades or shield upgrades, and such and such like that. There's like a list of things you'd have to do, but yeah, that's oh. bad enough as it is. <laughs> I can tell. Because I was thinking about playing Master Quest again after I finish it with going through the Fire Temple because I've been Dalt Link right now, and I was thinking like, hmm, should I try Master Quest for the Free Heart Challenge? Sure, why not? Oh God. <laughs> That's going to be fun. Magic, magic, magic everywhere! Yes, indeed. Oh, wait! This is the way I gotta go. Since I opened all the doorways... Mm -hmm. ...here... This is what I was aiming to get. Hmm. Oh, there's our map! Yay! We got the map! Oh so. my god, why did I even think of door of this door? <laughs> okay. Here's what the here's what the entire place looks like. Wow. With question marks here. Again, you have no idea of where to go in the bottom basement floors. My god. What is this temple? It's full of madness. Yes, it is. 
who could have started a fucking Ganondorf or something? Or Ganon's, could be worse. Like, it, yeah, it could be worse. It's like Ganon's Tower meets Kefka's Tower. <laughs> Times five. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Times twenty, per perhaps. Oh my god. Okay. So... I want to try to see if I can get to this one room in the middle, which seems like it needs to be, uh, seems to be like a bomb wall or something. Um, got a bomb wall, got a bomb wall, got a bomb the wall. Let's see. Well, another feature that you don't see in any Zelda game: hold down the control button if you're playing by keyboard standards. You can look ahead. Ooh, nice. Which I That's very nice. Yeah, that that actually does help a lot. Probably helps level a lot of dungeons, I bet too. Absolutely. Okay, here we go. This is where I meant to go. Gonna go that way, not the other way. <laughs> oh wait a minute. That. Okay, I thought I thought it was something I could bomb over, but I was wrong apparently. Um. Apparently, you gotta use a lot of bombs in the game. Quite so. Alright. Unless I have to go to the opposite side. Oh gosh. Which that might be the case here. We actually got through this this bit a lot quicker than I thought. About 16 and a half minutes in. Hmm. So let's see if we now, can find something on the other side. Oh, what were you saying? As is no, here's my question. Okay. And this makes it a little bit weird because I'm a huge fan of Zelda, but what do the great fairies look like? Great fairies. A pretty much look about the same as they did in Link to the Past. As far as uh you got some that are the 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 pretty pretty slender looking ones, and then you've got on occasion the the big fat looking one. Ah, Better than the, um, so say, like, the huge fairy you get in Orchidia Time in Majora's Mask with that horrible screeching laugh. Oh, dear God. And the one that looks like a clown? Poke eyes out. Yeah, and tits that could almost poke people's eyes out. Didn't they do that again in Maj uh, Majora's Mask and possibly one other Zelda game? Um, I know in Majora's Mask and, um, Orchidia Time, they use the. Great fairies, but they changed up their mo models a lot if, if we're Majora's Mask for obvious reasons. But on in um, Twilight Princess, they made the fairy in the Cave of Ordeals, and she's basically naked. How did how did they let that get past the censors? <laughs> uh, well, here's the thing: it's rated teen for teen. Uh huh. And of course, I mean, you have this beautiful fairy with these beautiful wings, and her hair is, like, literally covering her tits. And she's only wearing a, a, wearing a little cloth-like thing around her waist. Do not expect Link to, like, when he looks at her, do not, like, do not expect in his mind, be like, hum a hum a hum a hum a hum a what? <laughs> but then on the other side, it's like, think about Zelda, think about Zelda, think about Zelda. It's like, oh, I gets a fairy! <laughs> fairy! I fight off on it! <laughs> okay, let's see what's in this box. Ooh! A better coat of mail. The defense, the defense rises by one point. And now we're at... at uh, wait. It increased our strength. That's always good. Oh, yeah. I thought it would have increased our defense, though, a bit. Oh, but... that's not good. Eh. We're still doing fine. Yeah, I mean, I mean, good offense is good, but I need a good defense to hold up the offense. Yes, quite so. All right, so, um, well, there's that one room in the middle that. Is there even any way in there? There's no, there's no bombable walls or nothing. If you can see that dark oh. square in the center. Hmm. Guess you have to crawl through it or something. Uh, well, let's see. I think other than that, um, well, no, nothing here. Let's try going back around one more time, but I think at the, it's at this point where we'll have to eventually 
face the inevitable part of uh, of uh, trying to go through that randomized maze. Oh god. That's gonna be fun. It's like the forest temple all over again. Oh, I know. Okay. You know what? I should probably take off, turn off the Pegasus boots a little bit so I don't run into these guys all the time. That would help. It's kind of slowly draining my hearts away a bit. Yeah, that's not neat. So sorry if it's if it sorry for the constant backtracking, but you know what? It's a Zelda game. What do you expect? You you are going to backtrack a lot, so it's inevitable. You got you got to go like, through different ways. And also, I was like, oh shit, I forgot to go wrong way. Go around the corner. Go back around the other way. All right, let's see if this uh, is a bombable wall here. Nope. Nope, not a bombable wall. Hmm. Well, I suppose there's really not much more we can do except uh do that uh, one tidbit that we've been having, we've been trying to avoid. Well, oh guess we can't avoid any longer. Okay. Time to go to the maze. So, say, um, which, and I know this is like a little bit of curiosity to kill the cat, but what would you say is your favorite boss that you actually played in the Let's Play? Oh, so, f oh, uh, so far? Mm-hmm. Um, hmm, good question. I don't know if I really have a favorite. Okay. Let's rephrase the question. What is your favorite boss that you played in, in any Zelda games you ever played? How about that one? For sure? How about that one? For uh, let's see. Whoa, what the hell? What the hell is that? Um, whoops. Wrong one. That's the bestiary. Mm. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we had to somehow find the compass. I don't know why people put the compass in the Zelda games. It never helps! It's just a useless item. Anyways, to answer your question what my favorite boss was... Um, again, I don't have a favorite. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry.